Okay. Well, this is part three of 99% of y'all going to hell. You're going to need to go to part one and two to fully understand part three. But I'll give you a little bit of information. Part one is where I gave you the various entities, companies, or people, or whatever, that are among those that are going to go to hell if they don't repent and don't do it again. Part two, I went into Hollywood. Now, for those of you that may not know, Hollywood has infiltrated the swirl to the point of evil. Okay? It brought about a lot of unclean spirits and, and watched them in operation. And uh, right now, we have a lot of evil going on in Hollywood. Now, I said Hollywood before I talked about anything else because pretty much everything else I'm going to talk about after this Hollywood is involved. Go back to part one and I give you all of the entities and then I want you to think about it. Is Hollywood involved there anywhere? And you see that Hollywood is. Now I wanted us to think about what Prince said, and we didn't. You're going to have to go back to, uh, I don't know if that's part one or part two. But anyway, uh, Prince let us know as black people that we needed to form our own syndication of everything. That's from Hollywood all the way down to the floor sweeper people. That's right. And I don't think we got it. We're going to have to syndicate everything we do in order for us to reap what we are entitled to. We have to demand it. And we, we as a people, I'm talking about black people, don't understand our worth, really. And once you realize you have a worth, you go to smelling yourself and you forget how you're supposed to do the right thing. Now, I've been talking to a whole bunch of folks, so... Um, a lot of things. And there's one thing I made clear to them. Is that I have no intentions of breaking any of God's laws. As long as I am studying the laws, I won't be breaking them. Now there may be some laws I don't know about. I'm not sure what they are as yet. But I got the main ones. I already know that. In fact, we all do. The commandments are the main laws that we need to abide by. If you just abide by the Ten Commandments, you're going to be doing good. But see, we don't even get that right. Okay, we don't get that right. Because if we did, we wouldn't have as much of evil associated with the social media format and that's what I'm going to talk more about today is the social media format. Nothing but evil going on there in all types of ways. It's just amazing for me to see what's really going on and people are actually filming themselves Doing things that are in violation of God's laws. They don't care nothing about God's laws. And then, some of them are outright in violation of man-made laws. Right there, up on the screen. 
social media, and they're making money. And this causes people to want to make money, to do evil, to do what Satan wants you to do. And you don't realize you're under the influence of unclean spirits. Social media has caused a lot of problems. But as well, social media has taught a lot of good people. Now you yourself are going to have to be able to learn how to separate the evil in so social media and don't support it. Now you have some people that are in social media giving you information about some of the evil that's going on. You may not believe them. But all you have to do is look at social media yourself. Analyze it. Use your critical thinking skills. What are you actually looking at? What are you actually hearing? Because many of the individuals that are associated with social media are evil. And they're giving you evil information. You're going to have to know God's laws in order to uh, figure some of this stuff out. You are. There's no way around it because those that are practicing evil are not going to tell you those laws. All they're going to do is keep you in trouble. So, I'll deal with social media on the level of verbiage. That's at the ninth commandment level. Now, the reason why you want to say some of the things that you're saying is at the tenth commandment level, which deals with your thoughts and emotions. Why, what were you thinking? What were your emotions when you decided to say this? And this is how you're going to have to look at everything, people. Why did this person say this? Well, uh, you know, were the words evil? Right there sticking out at you. Now, the Tenth Commandment deals with coveting. Coveting, like I said, means that you have a desire for something that don't belong to you. It belongs to somebody else. And, uh... Social media influences you to do that. Um, in fact, all of the medias influence you to do that. Television, they don't realize it. Most of the people that are even writing this script may not even realize that they're training and teaching people to covet and bear false witness. It's what I'm going to deal with today as well. I'm dealing with social media and any other type of media that uses words such as um, allegedly, yeah. Because that means you're bearing false witness. And a lot of the uh, people that are in entertainment and whatever, when they use that, they're using it not to be uh, sued by man-made laws, but you're in violation of God's laws. Now, what you need to do is stop you talking about other folk. Okay? And no matter what it's about. Especially if you're going to end up bearing false witness. And many of the talk show hosts, and I'll get into those later, bearing false witness. 
I don't think they really understand that. And they have they can influence a lot of people. So you gotta watch your tongue. The Bible talk a lot about the tongue. I'm gonna get into the tongue on some description on that, maybe even through here. But uh your tongue can bring about both life and death. And if your mouth came out with something that caused a death in any type form, you may be considered a murderer in the court of divine judgment when you get there. See, you're not thinking about it. See, we have a whole bunch of busybodies just going all over the place, gossiping, bearing false witness, you know, talking all types of stuff. Um, sometimes gossip has to do with pride. Mm -hmm. Something to do with your pride and you lied. And there's a such thing as productive and positive gossiping. You know, but you don't read too much about that. We read and have been told more about false testimony and bearing false witness, which is the commandment itself. Thou shalt not bear false witness. <clears throat> now, I don't know how you social media people are going to deal with this. <coughs> All I do say is that uh, Many of you have things to repent. <clears throat> and you would know more about that than myself. But, uh... <coughs> <coughs> Let's go to, uh... As a matter of fact, I don't want you to have to go to it. Go to do your studies. Proverbs 10, 11, and 2 Thessalonians 3, 11, and Proverbs 17, 14, that deals with the subject matter I'm talking about today. Now, I suggest that you don't touch this. I've saying, said that before. Now. This is something that uh, is a part of my assignment. I have to give you this information and relate the commandments to it. Today we dealt with the 10th and 9th commandment. And we will be dealing with the 10th, 9th, 8th, and 7th commandment mainly. Now when I get to the 6th commandment when it deals with uh, killing... That's a different process that I have to go through in, in teaching you that. But right now, I'm dealing with bearing false witness and false testimony all on the TV and social media saying things that you should not be saying that's in violation of God's laws. And many of you want to come up with what you would consider verification that you didn't lie uh, whether you witnessed it or not. If you don't understand God's laws you still are going to violate them. If you witness a person doing something that's in violation of God's laws you're supposed to pull them aside privately and show them the error of their ways. Show it to them in writing and explain it. Okay? You're not supposed to go around being a busybody saying you saw so and so and all this here and you never once 
try to minister to this person to show them the errors of their ways. That means you are even more guilty than they are because you should know better. And that's a lot of what we have going on here, especially with these ministers and things like that. Who has, they've already been called, it's all publicly, you bunch of pedophiles and practicing uh, homosexuality and you, you, you're not doing what God told you to do. Okay? I'll deal with it that way. Now, I'll repeat, don't bother with this. Don't touch it. Don't say a thing about it, because this is a message that I was supposed to deliver. The Lord told me to do this, okay? And I already know if you do anything to interfere with this assignment and what I'm supposed to be teaching, it's going to be on you, baby. I don't know what to tell you. I, all I'm supposed to do is uh, tell you, don't touch this. And if I see you have a problem, I'm supposed to shake the dust off my feet. That's about it. Okay? So just leave us alone. And uh, all I can say is, I'm going to do the best I can in giving out this information on God's laws. Because that's what I'm teaching. is God's laws. I came out giving you scripture that told you that he who turneth his ear away from hearing... The law, even his prayer, shall be abomination. So don't mess around and cancel out your prayers. If you mess around and listen to me too long, it's going to be considered you turn your head. So I, that's all I, I know how to say, okay? That's all I know how to say. He told me to say it that way. So that's it. Now, you people over there telling me that I'm supposed to say, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I'm supposed to tell you all that. I'm not concerned about that. That's the people that supported me told me to do this. If any of you have been seeing me for a while, you know I, did, I haven't been mentioning that. Because what I want you to get is the lesson. You're supposed to be repenting your sins and not doing it again. My job is to teach you the law so you'll know what you have broken to repent. So I suggest you pay attention here. Well, anyway, knowing is not enough. We must apply. Willing is not enough. We must do until we meet again. I love you.